I'm Kathleen. And we're here today with another fun, easy recipe from Holy Guacamole and other scrumptious snacks. This book includes several recipes that kids can make all by themselves. No oven, no knives, simple, safe, and healthy. Today we're going to make holy guacamole. That sounds delicious. I love guacamole. Me too. Start with your avocados. Now you want to make sure that you get an avocado that is ripe. You can squeeze it a little bit. If it's rock solid hard, put it back. It's not ready. Don't get it. There's another tip too that um, I learned from our producer, Miss Joy. She says, if you take this little nub, I don't know if you can see that on camera, take that little nub right off your avocado, just pop it off, and if it's green in there, perfect. It's a perfect avocado. So that's kind of a fun little trick too. If you're, if you know, if you're squeezing, you're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Great. Now yours is a little bit greener than mine, so this one, if it's a little brown on the inside, we may not use it. There you go. Now I'm gonna try, since this is a really soft one, I'm gonna reach across here, and I'm gonna try to use this, the back of a spoon to slice it open. That and look, way. Yeah, that way I'm not having to use a sharp knife. There's no be. way I can cut myself. If your avocado is super ripe like this one, you'll have no problem just using the back of a spoon. And then you can use that same spoon to dig out all the avocado goodness. I will wipe the end of your knife off though for you. <laughs> your spoon rather. <laughs> just so you don't get avocado all over your hands. This Although, one hey, is really, fine. really squishy. So this is gonna this is gonna be good. And take a look there in the middle. That's what you want it to look like. Beautiful. If it if it's all brown and gross, don't eat it. And I'm using a grapefruit spoon that has some little ridges at the top that's helping me dig out the pulp from inside the avocado. You don't want to eat any part of the outside of the avocado. It's nasty. <laughs> Set it aside. <laughs> and when you're finished and you clean up, you'll just want to throw it away. Or if you have a compost heap, you can throw it away on the compost heap. Uh, every avocado is going to have a pit. There is she a, did wash her hands. I did, me. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the pit is really big. And the way I'm doing this, I don't normally do at home. Usually at home, I take a butcher knife and I whack the pit as hard as I can and lift the knife and the pit will come right out. But we don't want kids playing with butcher knives or using butcher knives. So I'm just going to scrape off some of that inner avocado goodness. Because you don't want to miss any of that. That's, That's right. Stuff. That's right. You can take that pit too, rinse it all off um, just under some water. Then you can poke it with toothpicks, set it down on top of a glass of water, so, you know, so the toothpicks are holding it up out of the water. Submerge it all about a third of the way. And pretty soon you'll have roots grow out the bottom. That's pretty exciting too. That is cool. So for the second one, I showed you the easy, safe way to do it for this one. Thank you, Kathleen. <laughs> I'm going to use a knife just because it's faster. But remember, if you are making this by yourself, and if you're not allowed to use the kitchen knives, don't do it. There's always a danger of cutting your finger. Knives are very sharp. And just be careful. I mean, you want to keep your fingers away from where you're cutting so that you don't Another pretty one. Oh, nice. Very nice. Do you know when avocado season is, Miss Kathleen? Um, no. In fact, I didn't really realize there was an avocado season because I guess I'm assuming they all come from California where it's always gorgeous, right? Or is there? You <laughs> know, I, I really don't know. Um, I just know that when we went to buy avocados the other day, they were That's rock true. hard. And um, so we did go ahead and buy these when they were hard and we let them sit for a few days and they did get soft, but it's much easier just to buy them when they're soft. Especially if you want guacamole right that second. Yeah, see we couldn't make the guacamole last week and it was very sad. Yeah, I, went, I was disappointed. I've almost got this cut out. Would you mind, Miss Kathleen, um, opening up that jar of salsa? Yes. And this is just simple, mild salsa. But if you wanted your guacamole to be a little more spicy, have a little more zing to it, you could certainly use, 
ricotta salsa, or even put a couple of jalapenos in there. But you don't have to do that. Let's see, do you want um, this in there yet, or you want to mash for a while? Um, I'm gonna mash this up for a while. Now you guys can see what it looks like here in the bowl. We've got our big chunks of avocado. And now I'm just gonna mash it with a fork. I'm gonna move my cutting board out of the way there. And I'm just gonna mash it. Now, if you were in a hurry, you could put this in the food processor True. and give it a rough chop. Um, but mashing it with a fork works just fine. And it's another reason why you want to only use really soft avocados makes your work a lot easier. And if you have a really hard avocado and you bite into it, it just doesn't taste good. So that's real important is to use the soft avocado. While I'm doing this also, I need Miss Kathleen to um, grab that salt grinder and just grind a little bit of salt here into our and avocado you can, mix. You can also that's probably good. use, yeah. um, it doesn't have to be a grinder, that's just what we happen to have today. Just throw in a pinch of salt because that salt is going to bring out the flavor of the avocado and make it oh so delicious. And then if you would please, let's get a half teaspoon of cumin. That's going to give us a little bit of smoke, um, a little bit of hint of heat. I'm not measuring this properly. Just enough that people will go, hmm, what's that in there? I can't quite tell. If you um, don't have cumin, but you do have, say, chili powder at your house, would that be an interchangeable item? I think so. I think that would work just fine. It or, smells or you similar. don't even need it at all. Sometimes I just use the avocado and the salsa and I'm done. Another tip, we're gonna eat this right away, but sometimes you wanna make some guacamole, take it to a party, uh, take it to outside, maybe you're having a barbecue, or you're not gonna have people over until later in the day. If it's going to sit, you wanna give it a little splash of lime or lemon juice. Now, I've cut this lime with my very sharp paring knife. If you don't want to do that, if you're not allowed to do that, maybe you'll have a bottle of lemon juice or lime juice. This will prevent this lovely green color from turning brown. So I'm just gonna give it a squeeze. This lime was really hard and Miss Kathleen put it in the microwave for 10 to 15 minutes. Seconds. Seconds, sorry. <laughs> Seconds. Seconds. Minutes, we have a mess, right? Yeah. <laughs> Stir it up, and it, the lime will also help bring out the delicious flavor of the avocados. And we'll keep it from turning brown. Are we ready for some salsa? Now we're going to add some salsa. And this is mild sauce, salsa, but um, you could certainly add spicy if you like. As little or as much as you want. And some people won't even add this. Some people just want the straight avocado, and that's fine. I'm going to stir this uh, in. And this just adds some flavor and texture, some color. Now we've got some red in there. You could also just do um, raw tomatoes, cut those up, throw them in. Raw onion, cut mm -hmm. it up, throw it in. But salsa is just real easy, especially if you're not in knife stage and you just want to make it super easy. And a lot of times I'll buy the um, ready-made pico de gallo that uh, you that's might find time. in your grocery store in the produce section that's got tomato, onion, oh, it might have cilantro in there too. And I'll just add that in there. Green onion, scallions would be excellent in this as well. Okay, now I'm gonna chop up some cilantro and put in there. And after I chop this little bits up, I will show you. Cilantro gives a lot of flavor. If you don't like it, you're welcome to use parsley or hey, leave it out. It's okay too. That's the fun part of cooking, guys, is you can do, make your recipes your own. But it comes on a stem, if you don't know what cilantro is, it comes on a stem, and look when you're in the store, because sometimes it'll say, you, you're not quite sure, it looks so much like parsley, uh, but it should be marked. And also it smells quite a bit different than parsley. It's got kind of a spicy flavor. So just pull the little leaves off like this, and you can snip them up with a pair of kitchen scissors. Hopefully you've got special scissors in your kitchen just for stuff. Snip them right in there, stir it up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's delicious. Yeah, it really does give the guacamole a little kick. You need some more? 
and um, I, I would like some more. I like cilantro. Me I like too. It. I like it a lot. And like Miss Kathleen said, any of the um, ingredients here, the salsa, the cilantro, the cumin, even the salt, you don't have to use that. A lot of people have their traditional guacamole. They make the way they want it. Or they could buy a packet of guacamole mix. Oh, that's right. Again, at your grocery store, I think it's usually maybe by the salad dressing. Sometimes it's in the produce section next to the avocados. That looks delicious. And I'm going to just show this now before I stir it up. We've got the gorgeous green and the, let's see. oh, that's nice. Yeah, the green, we got some red tomatoes in there. That looks good. Green cilantro, you can really smell that cilantro. It's got a very distinct mm. smell, um, kind of, uh, kind of um, sweet, kind of um, peppery almost. Yes, that's a good and, description. Um, kind of reminds me of arugula, but it smells so much better. And let us uh, try it here. We've right. got some chips. And again, any kind of chip you like. Yep. Let's see. I bet it's delicious. Mmm. Mm. And it is the cold and flu season, guys, so do not double dip. Oh, man, I was just going to do that, too. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's another fun recipe from Holy Guacamole and other scrumptious snacks. And we'll be back next time with another fun, tasty recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.